Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we're going to talk about a bunch of different loose ends that are finally finished. So there's been a lot of stuff that we've been waiting for, especially when it comes down to Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14. There's a lot of updates and a lot of things I want to cover in this video, but I'm going to make it pretty short and quick. One of them is this right here on the watch. You can finally change the fluid ounce of the cup that you drink if you're to drink water. So there's a bunch of different sizes and sometimes if you click on one glass, two glass, three glass, they could be different sizes or maybe you're always drinking six ounces and not eight ounces. So you can actually change that for whatever you use. There's a bunch of updates when it comes down to the Galaxy Store. You have three different modules inside of the Samsung Pass that got updated. You have something with Bixby updating, the auto blocker. You also have Lockstar, Wonderland, Pentastic, home up clock face nice shot so many things being updated finally and not only that but also the brother application of good lock which is good guardians this is very similar to good lock but this is going to be a lot of stuff that is a way that you're able to customize your phone when it comes down to taking a look at you know your battery so you can have like a battery guardian battery tracker the galaxy app booster thermal guardian memory guardian and media file guardian all of these have been updated for Samsung One UI 6.0 within just the last couple days. And you also saw there that even Good Guardians application itself had an update. So yes, Good Guardians is updated for anybody who has Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14, or even if you don't have it yet, if you wanna download Good Guardians, whenever One UI 6 does get pushed over, all these applications are ready for your use. Now, let's also take a look at some of those applications really quick that was inside of the Galaxy Store. We went over them very briefly at the beginning of this video. So basically you got Samsung Pass that got updated. You have your autofill with Samsung Pass, authentication framework, your your Samsung on device when it comes down over into Bixby, auto blocker. So it's a way that you're able to keep your phone safe from third party applications or malicious files that could be transferred over via uh, your USB into your phone if you're to plug it into a computer. Here's your lock star that got updated, Wonderland, Pentastic Home Up, which Home Up, that is how I was able to get this look right here for my recent applications. It's basically just called Grid. You also have Clock Face that updated and Nice Shot. Now, the other thing that I also want to show you before I show you how you can set up your grid right here is what it looks like now in Samsung Health. So this is something that I've been waiting for for quite some time. I've actually been asking about this for about like four or five betas ago because they were mentioning that in Samsung One UI 6, when you go down over into your liquids, you're actually able to change the cup size. So again, every single time, usually when you hit on, oh, I drank water, maybe you weren't drinking 8.5. Maybe there's a particular thermos you love to use or a mug, maybe a glass or a smaller cup that maybe you just maybe take four ounces at a time. Maybe you like to drink six ounces at a time. Maybe you just kind of go at it for a little bit and you drink it. So this is where you're actually able to change it. And also too, if you add in a couple um, and maybe you meant to just hit it twice, you'd actually be able to press and hold on any of these and you can also delete them and you can see the time of when you drank that water. So all you have to do if you want to change the size is on the top right hand side. Originally, it always said set target and accessories. Now you actually have set cup size. And this is where you can either add in a brand new cup. So maybe there is a cup that you like to drink out of and you've measured it out and it's four ounces. Maybe you just aren't somebody who loves to take, you know, 8.5 in one little sitting. Maybe you're just going back and forth. However, your case is you can set it up to, you know, any size you want to. You can make new cups. You can delete any of these ones. Now I have to say, this one's a big deal for me because it's always been set at 8.5, so my number has always been off. The cup, or I should say the little glass that I use, for some reason, I always put in six ounces. And so now, once I put in my six ounces, I tap on that little button, boom, I am all ready to go. And basically, you can see what your goal is on the very bottom. And then you just go off and you start drinking, you see your times and everything else. Now, the cool thing is it will finally work with the watch as well. So as I go through here, if I wanted to, you can see that I just basically changed this. I added in three different cups. You can now see it's updated 18 ounces 
and I have that six fluid ounce. Now, same thing on the watch and same thing everywhere is that you are able to delete anything that you see here. So let's say that I tap on this little glass area, I scroll down, I can take a look at all the times that I drank something. And if I scroll down even more, I can delete any of them. And I can also set my target and set the cup size on the watch itself. So for me personally, this is a big deal because I would rather have the right amount. If I'm gonna say, yes, I drank a cup of water. Yes, I drank a cup of water. I want it to be accurate. And the other thing that I can also do is if I know that I'm going to the gym or something like that, I can set my cup size and I can put it at that 16.9 because that's kind of close to how much water I put into my entire cup at the gym. When I go through the entire thing, boom, that's one little thing. And then I have everything all recorded and you can also see where it was recorded at. So you can see here that these ones were basically phone. And then this one was recorded via the watch. Now let's go inside of good lock. And as you guys know, good lock is found in the galaxy store. And this one is also region locked. Now how you're able to get your recent applications to look like this is that you want to go inside of home up. Now home up is where you can go and you can change a bunch of things with your home screen. So this is where you can basically loop your pages. You can change the grid for the home screen or the app screen. Now, because Samsung already made it to where it's five by six on the home screen and the app screen, originally it wasn't like that. I don't really need to have any more space. So this right here for the grids is perfect for me. Now, when it comes down to the looping of the pages, in order for this to work, you have to turn off this page here. So if you're using Google Discover or Samsung News, once you turn it off, now you're able to loop all of your pages. You can see that I really only have two pages. Let's say that I go through, I add in one more. So you can see they're here that I'm only swiping one way and I'm able to see all of my pages and it's all basically able to loop. So just remember, if you tried to turn this on and you wanted to loop your pages, you have to make sure that you turn off this very first card over here, which is either Google Discover or Samsung News, because if you tried to loop it from here, it's not going to work because this is not a home screen. This is just a additional page of you know news source location. So if you want your loop pages on, just turn off the very first page. Now, beyond that, you can also do a background blur control if you wanted to have a really cool background blur. This is where you can change the grids and the looks of your folder. So that little pop-up folder that pops up, you can have it look different. You can change the grid of all the folders on your home screen. So this right here is good for me. It fits everything that I need it to fit. I don't need to make any changes with that. And then also too, going back inside of GoodLock, this is where you go inside of the task changer and task changer is where you're able to change how you want it to look. So I can make it look like a mini mode if I want them to kind of be shoved down a little bit. Currently, there is only two options, though, when it comes down to the layout type. You have list as well as grid. Now, hopefully soon they'll add in stack, vertical list, and slim. But hey, at least they got these two right here, which I think these two are probably the two most popular. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section below. This is where you can change if you want to have like an app label or not. And then if you want to use mini mode. So here you can see this is what mini mode looks like. And there's no icons or, or wording of what the applications are. If you want the app label, that's where you can just turn on or off the app label. Now, this one's just a little bit too short for me, but this is where you are, you are able to have it as mini mode or large. And then just as before, you are able to tap on the application icon and it gives you all these different options. You can pin the app, keep it open. You can open it up in pop-up view, open up in split screen or the app info. So any of these, you're able to still tap on it just like you were from before. Now, if you tried to select grid or list, and then you went into this little screen right here. And if you notice that it didn't make a difference right away, one of the things that I did was I restarted my phone. Once I restarted my phone, this actually started working. So I'm actually pretty glad that this is all working here when it comes down to me showing off the mini mode, the app, uh, app label and everything else. You can see a bunch of other different settings. But again, like I said, I just wanted to show off a bunch of things that was updated. So make sure you take a look inside of your good lock application. You might see that there's a bunch of different of these over here that is letting you know that there is an update or on the very top right hand side, you'll actually see an option that says update all. And if there's several of them to update, then you can update all of them. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover in today's video. I want to let you know that Good Guardians is fully operational with Samsung One UI 6.0. Every single application or module was updated. Good Lock is also all working as well. None of them is unplugged. You can make sure that you can go inside and you can change your recent applications over into a grid or as well as a list. And also Samsung Health has all of its features it's supposed to be using and, and talked about from the very beginning. Now I keep talking about the flu 
blew it out, you are able to go inside of your settings and you can go inside of units of measurement and you can change all of these ones. So if your water intake is, you know, milliliters or if it's fluid ounce, whatever it may be, you are able to change everything inside of this menu right there. But I'm just glad that they're actually able to go through and update it to where now when you hit the plus button, it's going to be the size of water that you are actually drinking and not just a regular set cup. So I'm going to go back to six ounces as that's the one that I usually drink from. Uh, but hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.